Assalamu alaikum, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll continue our ECG course and today presentation on right ventricular hypertrophy. My name is Ahmed Al-Hadidi, I am emergency medicine consultant. Uh, many causes uh, can cause right ventricular hypertrophy like pulmonary hypertension, mitral stenosis, pulmonary embolism, chronic lung disease and core pulmonal, congenital heart disease uh, like tetralogy of fallet or pulmonary stenosis, and arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy. As a diagnostic criteria for right ventricular hypertrophy, it's different than left ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, no voltage criteria and the non-voltage criteria because of normally thinner uh, right ventricular wall and uh, low pressure. So uh, uh, first the diagnostic criteria is right axis deviation, then uh, uh, dominant R wave in V1. Uh, there is uh, larger or dominant R wave in V1 or RS ratio more than one. Dominant S wave in V5 or V6 more than seven millimeter or RS uh, uh, ratio is less than one. And of course, uh, uh, narrow complex, narrow QRS complex, because if wide QRS complex, this, cause, this changes will be uh, or may be due to right bundle branch block. As our supporting criteria for right ventricular hypertrophy is right atrial enlargement or people monel uh, can be seen in lead two or in lead V1. Uh, right ventricular strain pattern, which is ST depression and the T wave inversion, in right ventricle, in right chest leads, V1 till V4, and of course, and also in inferior leads, lead two, lead three, and lead EVF. And deep S wave in lateral wave in lateral leads, like uh, lead one and lead AVL. These are the supporting criteria. Uh, uh, handy tip in uh, right ventricular hypertrophy, there is no accepted criteria for diagnosis right ventricular hypertrophy in presence of right bundle branch block. As we said before, it's almost the same, uh, 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 same uh, diagnostic criteria. And uh, presence of incomplete or complete right bundle branch block with tall R wave in V1, right axis deviation, and presence of supporting criteria like right ventricular strain pattern in V1 till V3 or V4, and the presence of right atrial enlargement and people monel are considered suggestive of right ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, again, ECG for right ventricular hypertrophy, you will find here right axis deviation, and you will find here tall or a dominant R wave in V1, dominant S wave in V6. And last one is right ventricular strain pattern in uh, V1 till V4, and also in inferior leads here in V2 and V3. Again, you'll find right, vent right axis deviation in V1 and AVF, right axis deviation, P pulmonal and right atrial enlargement, dominant R wave in V1, and uh, uh, right ventricular strain pattern, ST depression and T wave inversion, V1 till V3. Again, right axis deviation and dominant P wave. Here you will find prominent R wave, although it's a small complex, but the R is uh, ratio is more than one, and uh, uh, this is an example of right ventricular stream pattern. Here, there is no dominant S wave in V6. It's not dominant S wave in V6. But you will find also right ventricular stream pattern with T wave inversion and ST depression. Thank you so much, and uh, see you next video in our ECG course, inshallah.